Now, what would you say is the difference between a moth and a butterfly? Is it that moths only come out at night? Well, you'd be wrong about that because some moths do come out in the daytime. Is it that butterflies are somehow more attractive than moths? Well, spend a night with our moth expert and he might convince you you're wrong about that as well. The night vision camera has revolutionised wildlife photography and tonight we don't need it at all. Midnight on Hensford Hills next door to Cannock Chase. Well, I'm out with friends, we're moth trapping out here. Other people go to nightclubs at night. I tend to go out moth trapping in uh, faraway woodland and heathland sites. I'm fascinated by what's flying at night and it interests me and we just don't know what's out there. At any moment something interesting might fly into that moth trap and it might be some, something we've never seen before. Anything at all. There are two and a half thousand species of moth in the UK. You'll find some 300 in your average Midlands garden alone. And capturing them really couldn't be easier. You need a bright light and some egg boxes. Moths really, really like egg boxes. Unfortunately, they don't like cold nights like tonight. So here's some we caught earlier, well, yesterday. All sorts of colours, some of them already laying eggs in their little pots, and all sorts of sizes. Quite big sizes, in fact. This is something called a lime hawk moth, which has got this wonderful, like, a army camouflage colour to it. Beautiful looking moth. The hawk moths are among our biggest moths in Britain. Mm. Hawk moths because they fly very fast, like a hawk. This is a poplar hawk moth. Which, is, which we caught last night and it's now, we've taken it out of the pot and it's warming up its wings. These big heavy moths take quite a lot of time to actually warm up their wings until they can take off. And this is another one that, that should be found in most back gardens. If you think you don't have anything this big in your back garden, if you run a moth trap in your back garden you quite regularly, it. you'll almost certainly see this. Now, moth names feature words like brocade, carpet, even footman. And of course, they'd be luxury items that would be very familiar to the Victorian gentleman of leisure who'd go out and study and name moths as his hobby. And that tradition continues. We still know very little about the thousands of amazing British moths. There's a moth that I started looking at, a common fan foot moth, which isn't common, it's incredibly rare. Um, we found it in the wire forest and within 24 hours I became the national expert and that wasn't because I'm good at moths, it was because no one else knew anything about them really. And because the last few summers have been so poor, we need people out there to try and understand just how our beautiful British moths are doing. Studying moths is one of the few areas left where the amateur can make a huge contribution towards our scientific knowledge about anything and I think that's absolutely fantastic. And if you want to get up close and personal with a few moths, well National Moth Night is this Saturday and uh, Dave Grundy, he's going to be down in the wire forest but there's more details about other moth hunting events on our website at bbc.co.uk slash Midlands Today.